Welcome as we gather here at Door Village United Methodist Church. I'm Pastor Sam Polito, and just so glad you're able to find your way here for this evening's service. Let's, let's begin our time with a word of prayer. Let's pray. As our Lenten journey continues, Lord, help us to draw close to you. Help us to do the necessary soul work it takes to have a life that's right in you. Help us to walk the path, the straight and narrow path that leads to everlasting life. And we pray this in your name. And now we pray the Lord's Prayer. And during Lent, we pray uh, the word sins instead of trespasses as we pray the Lord's Prayer together. Let's pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. And to that we say, Amen and Amen. How long has it been since you talked with the Lord and told him your heart's hidden secrets? How long since you prayed? How long since you stayed? On your knees till light shone through. How long has it been since your mind fell at ease? How long since your heart knew no burden? Can you call him your friend? How long has it been since you knew? Today's scripture reading comes from Matthew 6, verses 1 through 6. Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets, to be honored by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received the reward in full. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received the reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father, who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. The word of God for the people of God. This is the season of Lent we are in, and I'll be honest with you, I'm dealing with some very personal and private matters 
as I do my inner soul searching during Lent. Um, I take what I give up very seriously. And if I were to tell you what I've given up for Lent, you'd probably say, big deal, so what? No problem. But see, that's, that's just the thing right there. What, what I give up, I try to make sure it is a big deal to me. It, it calls me to repentance for, for letting go of something in my life that, well, gets so out of hand. And what needs to be curtailed or, or I need to just quit entirely. It calls me to a level of, of sacrifice and giving up uh, uh, pleasure and, and indulgences. So what I give up, it is a, I just want to show, it is a big deal to me. And I encourage you to make it a big deal for you. Even in the season of Lent, right now, you can make up your mind and, make, and determine what, what you're going to do from here forward. Now, I guess all the time what I'm giving up for Lent, like I said, to, to me, it's, it's always a private matter. I, I don't do what I do or give up what I give up lightly. Also, I don't do it in a way that calls attention to myself. I, I don't want others to see me struggling or, or lamenting over my fasting or self-denial. Yes, it's, it's an okay thing to give up chocolate for Lent. But the question is, why? Why chocolate? Is it to bring your appetite under control, for instance? Is it a self-denial or self-sacrifice thing? Lent is all about that. Taking a spiritual journey of, of self-discovery and, and making decisions that will bring each of us individually closer to God, closer to the person that we believe God is calling us to be. Now, I, I usually give up something, but I, I also take up something, is what I call it, take up something. So I make a to-do list, a spiritual discipline, uh, 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 take something up, a uh, scripture reading, maybe, a uh, a prayer journal, that sort of thing. Add to the space with something holy and reverent. There are all sorts of good things to do during Lent, uh, to, to, to good things to do as well as to give up. Uh, to stop one behavior and take up another holy behavior. That's what I'm talking about during this Lent season. We need to ask ourselves, why? What specifically for me am I trying to accomplish? What will reading the Bible and praying bring into my life right now that I need so desperately to get close to God? How will it direct my life over the year, uh, over, over the time or over the year ahead? A new way to live. How can I develop a new way to live? Many of the things I take up last way past the 40 days of Lent. They're uh, such a good thing, such a good idea, that I continue them past the 40 days. So, don't just fast to fast. Uh, don't just pray to pray. Don't give up something just to say you did it. Make it mean something. Make it count. Make it a, 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 a body, soul, and spirit thing. A good question to ask yourself is this. What would my life be like if I never went back to what I gave up? If I give myself up completely, and what would my life be like if I give myself up completely to the Lord in the things that I struggle with. Ask yourself, can I do this? Is it possible? Can I do it? And then ask yourself, can I do it with the Lord's help? With the Lord's help. Ask why. Why am I doing this? These are all good questions to ask along our Lenten journey. 
So continue forward into Lent with a clear plan and purpose. Remember the ashes of Ash Wednesday. They are a burnt offering to what you will give up. Don't make it too easy or too trivial. Give up soda. It's, it's a good thing. It, it really, if it's really become an addictive thing and a mindless thing and a habit for you, then it's a good thing to give up for health's sake. Give up watching uh, uh, some TV. Only if watching TV darkens your soul or exposes you to unholy thoughts or temptations. Do you see where I'm going with this? Stop smoking. Stop smoking for good. Not just for the 40 days, but let the 40 days be what it takes to make a clean break with that. I encourage everyone to think about and contemplate how you will spend your 40 days of Lent so that they matter. Give it some real thought and, and really challenge yourself. One, one Lent, uh, something I took up was memorizing a scripture. And I went through the scriptures that I had memorized and I found I, I wanted to really hone in on the 23rd Psalm. Maybe, uh, maybe a few other powerful uh, memory verses could help you. Read a chapter in the Bible a day. That, that's another thing you can do. A, a call to encourage someone uh, uh, each day. At, at least one person. During Lent, take on as someone you will nurture and love and take care of. Y you get the idea. Observe a holy Lent. Make Lent a time of renewal and let it be a time free from sin. Walk away from willful sin and tragic sin. Make it count. Make it count. Let your Lenten journey mean something as we head to Easter Sunday. Take the time it needs. Take the time it needs to break free from sin. And we do that in Jesus' name. And to that we all say an amen. Say amen. Amen and amen. What, what I think we'll do is uh, we'll sing a hymn uh, this evening together. Uh, follow along the words. And yes, sing along if, if you like. The hymn is Sweet Hour of Prayer. and 
faithfulness engage the waiting soul to bless. And since he bids me seek his face, believe his word and trust his grace, I'll cast on him my every care and wait for the sweet hour of prayer. We'll finish there for this evening. I'm so glad you're able to be here. Let your soul be renewed and encouraged and find your way into the healthiest place possible during this Lenten journey. Let it, let it bring you spiritual hope and guidance and let the love of God guide and lead you in all things. Have a wonderful evening. God bless you on your way. Amen. Amen.